I got to say one other thing real quick, and that is that this day was just a, I mean, God, what's up with people? Ah, uh, who cares? Let's review the shows. Good, <laughs> just, good report. Well, it's just people, listen, everybody, you can watch any show you want. You can like or dislike any angle you want. And if somebody else doesn't like it, bro, this ain't like pork chops, okay? If you if you think that Dynamite was good, then I'm happy you enjoyed it. If you thought that it was bad, you're welcome to think it's bad. If you want to watch it or don't want to watch it, like, whatever. But don't have your day ruined by what other people think of a show that you watch. Do not let it ruin your day. There was a lot of people that had their day ruined. I read about it on Twitter. Mm. I read about it on the chat here. I read about it on our board. Ruined days because of what other people thought about their opinions of a show. Don't do that. The world the world is a shithole as it is. Okay? You don't have to have your day ruined by what somebody else thinks about what you thought about a show. Just watch the show, like it or don't like it, and then, you know, go make lunch, go to the library, go to a bar, whatever. And Christ, it was one bad rating, everybody. Do you guys realize that the, the first to third hour drop on Raw was the greatest in the history of Raw. We've been Raw started in 1993, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so it's 2023 next year. Yeah, we're, we're a month okay. away. Okay, yeah. so it's been 30 years that this show's been on the air, by my we, math. We, we can call it 30, yeah. 30 years, okay. This was the worst first to third hour drop in the history of the show, okay? Mm -hmm. Nobody blinked. Dynamite does a poor rating on Wednesday, and holy fucking shit, the stuff that I saw on the internet. Dude, I didn't go crazy about that Raw drop, it's one show. What the fuck? Like, the show's been on for 30 years. It's going to be on next week and the week after. It's all going to be all right. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be all right for Dynamite. So, uh, last week's Thanksgiving was way higher than it should have been. This week was way lower. Next week, it may do a million. It's fine, bros. It's fine. Now, let's talk about them. We watched AEW Dynamite November 30th, 2022. Now, this is interesting because I did not watch last week's show. I have been meaning to at least go back and check out the uh, Jericho Ishii match and the uh, Death Triangle match and nothing else. But that's all I've, I, that, that's it. So I have, I have scant knowledge of what happened on that show in, 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 in as far as the uh, uh, full gear follow up and all that. So I kind of went into this a little bit blind. And it was interesting how, uh, interesting to see how they kept you on track if you happen to miss a show. Is this a show that you can miss? So you didn't watch it all last week? I have not watched uh, wow. not, not one second of it. So, oh, man. This yeah. is going to be an even more insane review. All right. So John Moxley gives out for a promo. Now, I understand he, of course, was screwed by William Regal at the uh, pay-per-view. And I am led to believe from the few reports I read and what the announcer said here is that when Regal came out on Dynamite after Full Gear, Moxley did in fact come out to kill him, but Danielson was able to talk him out of it. Yes. Okay. So Moxley has had a week now to think about all this reflect. He says, you know what? Nothing's really changed. I'm still at the top of the food chain. I still do what I want and say what I want. And nobody within 100 miles of this arena has the balls to tell me any different. Hangman Page disagrees. Hangman back on the show for the first time since landing on his brain against Moxley and going out. Man, uh, he's Clear now, apparently. And the announcers did remind us all that Mox is the one who put him on the shelf. So Moxley mocks uh, Paige's brain injury. It's pissed Hangman off. They have a long fight. This is like a, 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 a Tim Flowers segment where he has 8 million pull-aparts and just keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Uh, at one point, Moxley almost fell off the stage and died, but he seems to have been fine. You mean fine. almost? He, fell, he the fell off the stage. He fell off the stage and almost died. But he died. did not die. Yeah, that's what I should say. You know, he did admit in his book that he's a very clumsy person. So... <laughs> No, he's not, uh, the yeah. book is nonfiction. He, that I, I, I'm sure that's true. Eventually, they're separated and taken to their respective tunnels. Or I guess it's the tunnels because they're both baby faces. Yeah, I thought it was a, you know, in a vacuum, it was a good opening segment. My only, and we'll get to what the MJF segment is, they're clearly moving Moxley on to Hangman. Mm -hmm. They're moving Moxley away from MJF. Yes. So, I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world, but... This guy, Moxley, he was screwed by William Regal. His title was taken from him by MJF. Mm -hmm. 
and he is now just on another path. Uh, a title, by the way, he has had to fight for and scrap for and lose and regain all year. Yes. <laughs> this has yes. been his entire world. Like, I, I like that they're following up with the thing with the hangman, but, I mean, he's he's definitely being moved away from MJF. So if you're if you're waiting for, like, some sort of, you know, a nice bow to be put on this package... It does not appear that we're going to get it anytime right. soon. Anytime soon. No. They are moving on. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle uh, load? <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Hawks. <laughs> I, I don't. That's when Vinny got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's wrestle Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's, he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh! I have oh, never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.